square body Chevys. If you have one of these trucks and you pull your light switch on and you get one glowing, one of the blinkers glows. If the regular blinker still blinks, slowly, and the left one blinks. But you see how that green's still lit up? If you have a square body Chevy or a CUCV, that means you have a burned out bulb. So my running lights are on, side markers on. That one's on. Found it. And that one's on. So now we got to fix it. Well, if you don't have one of these trucks, and you've tried changing out a bulb in one of these before, you're like, what the heck? Because they made it any harder to get to the darn bulb. And I'm going to move the camera over just a little bit this way. First, you got to take the surround off. There are four T15. T15 Torx screws. I've already pulled two of them out just because I figured you didn't want to watch me pull them out. There's the third one. Two down here, two up here. They're all the same. You don't have to worry about keeping them separate. This comes on out. And voila. Then you're down to the blinker light. Now, You'll also notice mine's kind of cracked. It's got cracks in it and all kinds of troubles. So, is that three eighths? I just did this a week or so ago. Three eighths. Anyway, there's three screws you have to remove, three bolts. I left the one that I took us apart. I had the light come on a little while ago. I drive this truck to go work out every morning. And I don't need driving around town with a bad light bulb. So, okay, it's a light bulb. I went through the process of pulling these four screws out, pulled these three, and my experience has always been the bottom one is easier to get. When you have a, where's that? Swivel type socket. So it makes it a whole lot easier to get to the housing. I get that bottom bolt out. Since I started doing that, for, ooh, I can do a video on this. I just decided to leave it. All right. And you twist. Can you see that at all? Not really. You twist the pigtail. Now it pops. You see where it twists in the back of this. All right. All that to get to a bulb. And back up a little bit. My bulb, the only, it's not orange. It's four colors for, uh, well, there's only, you know, white, amber, for like on the dash, white, amber, green, blue, red. Blue for your uh, high beams, green for your blinkers and cruise control, amber for warning. Red for stop now. Anyway, it's an 1157 bulb with the amber color. You twist it, pop it out. I didn't even test this bulb. I assume it's bad. Should do that with my fancy uh, back up again. power probe. So the way these bulbs work, there's two positive contacts. Got a ground. Gotta hold it. And hold it this way. 
This is actually a 2057 instead of 1157 because it's amber. Put power to it. That bulb don't work. Neither, neither side works. Okay. This bulb is truly shot. Well, a new bulb actually has... This is an 1157A. Let me try doing this. This one. Negative. It lights up. That's the one side. That's the blinker light. That's the run light. So 1157. You got two filaments in there. Obviously, both of mine were burned out. All I had was a burned out bulb. Except when I where to go? I had the piece up here. I put it up here. I had the piece in my hand. There it is. I went to change the bulb a week or so ago. I had this little bitty piece of metal come out with the bulb. It was inside here. I think you can see you can see the two strips on the bottom. One there, one there. That one's the ground. Or that one's two ground. Turn my lights off. This one's got nothing. This is supposed to be the ground. Except it's supposed to go down the side of it. This little piece here broke off. This is a very common problem on these vehicles. These things break off. So as soon as I got down, pulled the bulb out, saw that. I just took this piece out, put the bulb back in, put it all together, and went and order parts. And what I ordered, I'll bring it over to you. Part number 787111. Can you see that? There it is. Well, yeah, 787111. That's from Napa. I got on their website. I should order two because they're like $7 a piece. And this we're still on it. Yeah, we're still on it. This will slip into here and lock in. So I'll hold the bulb. And the way the 1157 bulbs work, there's two ground or two strap or pins on the side. One's higher than the other. So when you put it in, the high one goes on that side for this one. And you twist it. Simple, changing light bulb kind of thing. But you got three wires. The yellow one should be the bright blinker. The brown one, like if you have trailers, should be the running light. So I'm using my power probe to check it. It's gonna tie on to the negative. Pull it back out without breaking anything here. And put power to it. The yellow, which should be the running light, is coming through, or it should be the blinker, is coming through as the running light. Brown, which should be the running light, is coming through as the bright blinker. All right. Anyway, we know that works. All we got to do now is transfer, cut this, figure out which one's which. 
and then transfer it over. So we have to do a check. Which one's which? It's lined up. So you got the blue, brown, black. So I'm going to turn my running lights back on. And I hope my head wasn't blocking. Turn the running lights back on and find out which one is the running light. The running light is on. Oh, no. nope, no. Neither one is working. Why is neither one working for that? Oh, there's 10.6 10 .6 volts. So brown is the running light. But as we found out on my new piece, that's going to be yellow. Let me turn the blinker on. Turn the... So now the blue one should be flashing, which is the bottom one. 10.6, nothing. 10.6, nothing. 10.6.6. All right. So blue is the blinker. Brown is the running light. Yes, I could have just pulled. If you have a CUCV, the appendix F, it's either appendix E or appendix X, F, the back of the Dash 20 technical manual has all the wiring diagrams with the wire colors and everything else. So yes, I could have just done that. But I wanted to show how to test in case you don't have access to the wires. All right. I don't want to take too much up of this. So I'm going to cut and I'm not using this piece again. So I'm going to cut it real close to the edge. I'm going to cut that one. I'll cut all three of them. We know blue is the blinker. And brown's the running light. Okay. Those are now out of the way. This is kind of a, you can see this, right? Um, get any closer? Camera went kind of nuts on me. And then uh, it's almost too much. We'll try it like that. No, I'm gonna go back. Go back like that. All right. This is a who made this? I'm not sure who made this one. But it squeezes the wire and then has a little spot to strip them. I love these tools. This one's not a snap on. I know snap on makes these. And just strips the wire. Things are great. I'm going to do the other two as well. Well, we got it here. Just pick what gauge you want. Now I'm doing a little bit longer than I should. So I'm going to use heat seal uh, butt connectors. Non-crimp heat seal. I'll show you those in a minute. make these ones longer is what we're doing this is a I'm not sure how to say that Hastronic well whatever solder seal wire connectors
pretty much. I think this is going to be too small. No, it fits right. We're going to stick each one in. What I like to do, as you saw by me over to, overdoing it, I need three of these. These are 14 to, according to this, 18 gauge fits that. So these are pretty small wires. I like to crimp these. I'll cut these just a little bit longer. So that I get overlap. In fact, the, the wires in the on the truck side are actually thicker gauge than these wires. I'm going to run. You're still seeing this, right? Yeah, you're still seeing this. I guess so I can push it in. I run this in. I'm going to go all the way. And then I go to the black one over here, which is this one. intertwine it can't really well, try and just push it together or overlap and push this thing back over that Overlap, push this in, then you end up with the little solder ring. Oh, take the bulb out before I break the bulb. My Roy broke it. I just messed that up real good. Overlap, push it in, the solder ring in the middle is over the overlap and we got two uh, shrink wrap bands, the red bands, over the insulation. So all you got to do is take a heat gun to it. Sorry, I'm blocking your view. But you can see as I'm doing this, as the connection gets hot, it shrink wraps around both wires and the solder in the middle starts melting And interlocks are melts into the two wires. Okay. And don't touch it right now. It's hot. But it's better than it's solid now. Solid. Okay. So we figured out brown is running lights, which turns into yellow on my pigtail, which seems to be wrong. Oh well. Same thing all over again. I get all the wires inside the insulation case. Both 
piece is covered. So if you have a square body Chevy, you have probably done this or trying to figure out how to do this. That's why I'm making the video. Because these things, those little tabs, the ground tabs break off. I'm surprised I did not replace this one already. It's the original. I thought I had. I know I've replaced the driver's side on this truck. And I got wire stick. Oh, that's the other wire. Okay. Okay. There we go. That one's on. One more to go. This is a easy thing to do. What? Why do I gotta do all this? Chevrolet made a bad part. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine that. Trouble here is getting there. It's all the way in. Last time to block your view. see when I get near the ends it gets hot and shrinks around the, the insulated wire and the solder starts to melt you can see it's spreading through the resin going and it's spreading make sure these ones are shrink enough shrunk enough Sorry, I can speak better than that. Or our Aggie, but I can still speak better than that. All right. So in theory, that one's good. If I didn't break the bulb, let's test the bulb again. I did drop it. That one still works. That one still works. Good deal. So, that's the long side. Goes in like that. Let me go turn on my lights, see what happens. Lights on. Hey, it worked. And let me turn the blinker on. And the blinker is not working. Why is the blinker not working? Oh, there it is. And I got the wires backwards. I tested it. But now they're backwards. Now I'll go back and do it again. I was talking instead of working. Okay. I'll just undo. But you get the idea. And if you're talking while working, you can screw it up. I will go back and switch the <laughs> the brown and the what I do. We figured. I don't know. I'll go back and do it again. Uh I'll cut those out and redo. Anyway, as the Haynes Manny always says, reassembly is opposite of, oh, how do you say it? Yeah, reassembly is opposite, opposite of disassembly. Put it back together again. <laughs>